Since July, two wheeled electric scooters have been a part of life in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. But will they be sticking around? Yes, the city is asking people for their opinions, and they've heard from thousands. Tom Durian got an exclusive first look at the numbers. He's live now with the results, Tom. Hi, Steve. Hi, Shannon. Yes, yeah, 6,500 people have so far filled out the survey on the scooters. Now, only about 50% of them, if you can believe this, have actually taken a ride on one of them. But they all have opinions. We have seen a, a lot of ridership on these, so there is evidence that there is some latent demand for people to move around the city in different ways. In the summer, it was easy to see that people were using the e-scooters to get around, stand on a street corner, and you could just watch them whir by or talk to just about anyone and hear a complaint about them. I've about been ran over in the sidewalk a few times. The scooters were part of a pilot program, a more controlled rollout of the two wheelers after they were just dumped here in the summer of 2018 and then later removed. Last month, the city rolled out this questionnaire on how it's going. A little over half of the people have somewhat to very favorable opinion of them. Um, around 30% say they're unfavorable in some way. The rest of the respondents were neutral on the program. The main concerns voiced were how people ride the scooters around cars and vice versa, and people riding them on the sidewalk, an issue that almost killed the program soon after it launched. During the summer, I did notice that more people were using them compared to now that it's getting colder outside. The numbers back up this theory. According to the city, in August, 133,623 rides were taken in the city. In September, that number fell to 111,551. And with the weather changing, this month is on track to have far less rides at 50,557 so far. I definitely would like to see them come back next year, yeah. The Department of Public Works will continue the survey through the end of the year. Then it's up to the Common Council. So here's another interesting number, 32 crashes. That's all that were reported. That's less than 0.1 of a percent of the rides that were taken on these since the program started. Now, these can stay on the streets until December 31st. That's technically the end of this program, but you're likely to start to see the companies come and pick them up as the snow starts to fly. The numbers already dwindling. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Tom, during today's TMJ4. All right, Tom, thank you. The city still wants to hear, though, from you. We have posted the link to the scooter survey inside this story on our website, so just simply go to our homepage at TMJ4.com.